What's up everybody? I'm Tom Coffey, creator of ObstacleCourseWorkouts.com. Today I wanted to talk to y'all about the Bucket Brigade event that you'll encounter at most Spartan races. If you're not familiar with what this obstacle is, you basically pick up a heavy five gallon bucket and just carry it for however long the race tells you to carry it for. Uh, it's I really like this event because it's not a skill-based event. Like if you miss the spear throw, you know that's so. It's like yeah, you're, it's a it's a highly skill-based event. You know, not a lot of people are gonna make it on their their only attempt. But for the bucket, like literally just picking something heavy up and carrying it around is one of the most basic human movements. People have been carrying heavy stuff forever, so it takes away the skill component and is purely just a physical grind, a mental grind, and it's hard. It's just super hard work. It's super mentally taxing, um, and that's why I like it because everybody can do it. It's very low skill, but sort of has a very high grip factor. So the if people ask what the weight of the bucket is for the Spartan race, which it's said to be about 60 to 70 pounds for men, 40 to 50 pounds for women. And as of 2019, the rules have changed slightly. So in the past, you used to go to the gravel pit, fill up your bucket, and it was open. There was no lid. Uh, you had to fill it up to a certain threshold and then carry it. And if you spilled the rocks or the gravel, then you had to do burpees or maybe even do the obstacle again. I think in an effort to standardize the the weight um spartan race has changed that now it seems like the the buckets are filled are pre-filled by volunteers before the race and the weight of the bucket and they're capped with the lid so the contents don't spill out the weight of the bucket is said to be about 60 to 70 pounds for men and 40 to 50 pounds for women although people that i've talked to that have trained with those weights go into the race and say the bucket actually feels lighter on race day, which is a good thing. So I like that 60 to 70 pound threshold for men and 40 to 50 pound threshold for women seems to be a, a sweet spot for training. Um, yeah, and the, the actual distance, again, it sort of depends on the race, who the race director is and the terrain of the race. Uh, the distance though, average is probably two to 400 meters, which if, you're, if you need a quick reference, uh, a lap around a standard high school running track is about 400 meters. So if you carry your bucket around that one time, you'll get a feel for just how long it, a 400 meter carry is. Uh, it, it sneaks up on you pretty fast. So there's really the best way to train for this event is to simply go to your local hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, or even the, the local mom and pop shop grab a five gallon plastic bucket and then fill it with something like sand or pea gravel or small pebbles to about that desired threshold of 40 to 50 pounds for women, 60 to 70 pounds for men. Uh, and then you can cap it off if you want. So I wanna show you my bucket, what I did. So I have this five gallon bucket right here, right? And I filled it with, it's got about 40 pounds of pea gravel in it. And then this, uh, sorry, about 20 pounds of pea gravel. And then this 40 pound bag of cement. What I did is I just bungee corded it to the top cause I don't have a lid. I put the bungee cord through the handle. So the handle, so the thin metal piece wasn't uh, against the plastic and digging into my arms. And then for training purposes, you won't have this luxury at the Spartan race. I attached a towel here just so your when you're carrying it, this plastic lip can get quite painful on your skin. For for training purposes though, it's better just to you know make sure you feel comfortable at least carrying the bucket. So attaching this towel around the plastic lip gives a nice bit of cushion. And again, as you can see, I just bungee corded it around the bucket right there made sure the handle was out of the way so that wasn't digging into my skin, and then just filled it up with pea gravel and cement. And the reason that I, I bungee cord it is again, I don't have a lid and we use these buckets for more than just awesome Spartan prep training. So we have to take the contents out um, to use them around the house. But yeah, that's how, that's how I set it up. And then I carry it around. But as you can see, so I live in Florida right now, as you can see, very green, which is great. Also very flat, 
which is not so great if you're about to go run a Spartan race in the mountains or any obstacle course race for that matter. So this is a problem that a lot of people encounter is they say, hey, I'm about to go train for uh, XYZ obstacle course race, let's say Spartan race in, for this example, but I live in an area that doesn't meet the physical demands of the race. So case in point, I live in Florida. If I was going to go do a Spartan race in, say, Breckenridge, Colorado, which is super mountainous, my legs are going to get smoked, right? So there's certain things you can do. And with the bucket carry obstacle, with the bucket brigade obstacle, usually it goes down a little steep hill and up a little steep hill. It's pretty... Uh, sinister actually and really smokes your legs when you're carrying a heavy bucket and you have to go up a super steep little hill that's covered in mud it's tough it's super tough so a great question is how do you train for something like that when you don't live in the exact environment so what I did right I just got done working out with with my bucket I just carried it around the, the yard there as you can see again super flat no hills in sight what I do is I pre-fatigue my legs, namely my hamstrings, my glutes, my calves, stuff like that, before I start carrying. So I do things like high volume hip bridges, single leg hip bridges, um, different, different variations of squats, lunges, depending on the day, uh, maybe even some jumping squats, jumping jacks, jumping lunges, maybe even some wind sprints, you know, bear crawls. But basically what I'm trying to do is stimulate the fact that I'm about to carry this thing up and down a hill on the course, but I don't have a hill and my legs are going to get smoked. So if I can get them tired, getting used to carrying this weight while I'm tired, I think that goes a long way to starting to replicate the course, especially if you're, if you're traveling up and down a hill and you don't have a hill, pre-fatiguing with something like, a, you know, using the, the bucket brigade obstacle is great. Um, this is for another video, but pre-fatiguing before something like a skill-based training event, like if you're going to go practice the spear throw, is not a great idea. But doing something where you pre-fatigue your legs can be a nice additional training tool to just make the, the training harder for the obstacle, right? Um, another way you can make, the, especially for the bucket brigade, harder is simply use a heavier weight. Uh, than what you would find. So if you're pushing it up to like 70, 80 pounds, that's gonna be pretty heavy for a guy and like 50, 60 pounds for a, for a lady, you'll definitely strengthen your, your body that way. But there's a lot of different ways to do this. Just want to shed some light on the bucket brigade obstacle you'll encounter at most Spartan events. Again, it's grueling, but it's great because it's so simple. It's very sinister event. Um, and the, really the best way to train for it is simply grab a bucket, fill it with something heavy, uh, get up to that, that sort of threshold weight, build up to it over time if you need to. But yeah, just get used to carrying that thing around, you know, try out different grips. Uh, at most Spartan races, from what I've seen and still understand, they, there's some illegal carrying positions like on your shoulder, on your head. So you most likely carry it against your chest in a bear hug position or kind of just carry it, you know, holding on with your hands, but uh, with your arms hanging straight down. So that'll depend on the race. But again, yeah, the, the biggest thing, the best way to train for something like this, where it's just brute strength, building the mental fortitude is literally just add in bucket carries to your training. It's super cheap to make uh, and it pays huge dividends. And if you don't have a bucket to carry around, you could do something like carry a dumbbell against your chest. That'll work too. Um, but the, the biggest takeaway here is add in loaded carries to your training routine because you'll I don't want to say a hundred percent guaranteed but you'll there's a high probability if you run a Spartan race you're going to encounter the bucket brigade obstacle and it's super tough so preparing for that ahead of time will set you up for success um, if you like these if you like this training video feel free to hit subscribe I'm going to be putting these out quite frequently to help you dominate any obstacle course race that you may encounter also, your questions are very welcome. If you have more questions or training tips that you'd like me to film videos on, please drop those in the comments below and hit the little alert icon. That way you get alerted when I put out new videos, new training tips for any and all obstacle course races. Again, I'm Tom Coffey with obstaclecourseworkouts.com. Thanks so much for your time and looking forward to chatting soon.